three, two, two, three. All right, hey everyone, Mike Heading here, coming to you today with the tune Amazing Grace, classic traditional tune. We're going to play it in the key of G, and we're going to work on playing in 3-4 and work on kind of a scrug style break for this tune. So if this is, uh, if you're new to 3-4, the different time signature, this is a great song to kind of get familiar with that because um, it's such a classic song and it's a really good one also to work on playing the melody and kind of adapting a scrug style break to 3-4. So I'm going to break down the whole part, the whole song, and then give you some tips for backup and you'll be ready to go. All right, here's the tune, Amazing Grace. We're gonna break it down note by note and measure by measure, and we're gonna take it real slow. This tune is specifically written to work on playing in 3-4, which is a little bit different, especially if you've mastered a lot of the basic rolls in 4-4. We're gonna have to kind of tweak those rolls a little bit to make them work for 3-4, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna play, play the pickup note. We're gonna start on the fourth string with just an open pickup note. We're going to hit that with our thumb of our right hand. So I'm going to play the first measure and then I'll break it down so you can hear it. Okay, so we're going to hit a thumb on the fourth string. Then we're going to hit the open third string also with our thumb. And then we're going to pinch the outside string, so the fifth and the first. And then we're going to do this little pull off. And this is what we're going to work on because this happens like three or four times in the song. So let's. We're really going to break this down. So we're going to do a 4-2 four, four pull-off on the third string and then pluck the our open third string. So we're going to do that, that pull-off with our thumb of our right hand. So we're going to start that and then we're going to pluck the with our index finger. So you're actually going to have to use the thumb and the index on the same string, which feels feels a little goofy, if, if you, especially if you haven't done that before. So again, you can just practice that on its own. And you know, so I'm just doing thumb index on the third string. And you really have to kind of get your thumb out front so these, you know, so these two aren't running into each other. So really get your thumb out front. Okay, so that's what we're gonna practice. Um, and um, with the pull off, keep your wrist out enough if you get if you get going back like this, it's gonna it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be tense, and you're you're not gonna get quite as good a tone, at least in my opinion. So keep your keep your wrist out. Again, I don't really even I'm not even touching the banjo. You know, I'm not I'm not holding it up like this. I'm I'm actually not really holding it at all with my left hand. So let's just practice that pull off a bunch of times because um, that's again probably probably the toughest part of this little tune. So. Again, I'm using my third finger of my left hand and my first finger, so I'm doing four to two. And you can kind of pull back, um, again, almost toward the palm of my left hand. You can kind of drag, drag the string a little bit. Again, and let that first note happen a little bit first so you have a, a note to pull off. Let me do it a couple, I'll do it a couple times really slow. This is, again, just good general technique stuff. Again, we're gonna have to do that about four or five times during the song. So that's if if that feels really tough for you, I'd I'd work on that on its own because um, that's kind of the hook, little lick of the song. Okay, one more, a couple more times, a little faster. Okay, so so we'll come back to that because we're gonna have to use that a few times. So let, let's let's go back for the first measure. I'll play that pickup note. So we're gonna go. So we're counting one, two, three, one, two, and then we start on beat three. So if you're gonna count this, you know, and play along or play with someone, you'd count one, two, and then you'd hit that open fourth string on beat three. So one, two, three, one. And then we're gonna take our, so I'm using my, my third and first finger on that, uh, on my left hand for that pull off. And then we're gonna do a two to four slide on the third string. So I use my second finger. Um, so you're kind of doing the pull off with your first and third finger. And then you kind of, um, you can slide down with your left hand quick and then you're gonna slide back up. 
Okay, so let me break that part down. So let's just let's just work on uh, measure two on its own. So excluding the pickup. So so measure two is very kind of almost like a, a Scruggs straight ahead roll. But we're gonna again we're gonna have to cut off the last two notes because we're not in four four anymore. We're in three four. So we only need we only need six eighth notes for this. So so basically just we're just doing two forward rolls. T I M T I M. We're starting on the top three strings, uh, third, second, and first, and we're doing a forward roll and a two to four slide. So let me break down that measure by itself. And your thumb goes up to the fifth string. Your left hand comes back down to the second fret, and you pluck that uh, third string with your index finger. Make sure you're doing that with your index finger. And then you're hitting the middle uh, open first string. So let me play that measure just by itself. This is, this is a good one to practice. You can use this for a lot of general back up or leads uh, in 3-4. So one more, a couple more times. And uh, be really careful, make sure you, you, you go up to the, the third string with your index finger. Um, a kind of a common beginner mistake is to kind of cheat a little bit and, and double thumb that. And make sure you really get your, your index finger all the way up to the third string on, those, those la on that last note, or second to last note rather. So watch my right hand. So I'm going T I M thumb index middle. So I'm doing two forward rolls. Again, it doesn't matter what strings you're on, as long as you're doing that T I M thumb index middle, you're doing a forward roll. Okay, so let me let me play those two measures by itself. Yeah, okay, one more time. Don't slide too quick on that two to four. Give that first note a little bit of value. Okay, then we're gonna go into a C chord. So I know you just see opens and twos on the tab, but still, we're still gonna go into our full C chord. Okay, so let me play. Let me play measure two going into measure three. So I'm sliding up, coming down with my second finger on my left hand. Then I'm going into a C. So let me play just measure three on its own. So you've got your, your C chord down. And I'm starting with the third string with my thumb. And then I'm doing a middle up to the fifth string with my thumb. Index on the third string. And then a thumb on the fourth string. And there's a little pause at the end. So it's so just the C measure. So it's measure three. One and two and three. And then back to open. Little fill licks. That's measure uh, four or five if you're counting the pickup. So, so let me play that part. So I'm going to slide into that C chord. And it's really important to use your second finger to do that slide because then you you've got your first and third finger kind of ready to go. So here we go. So now right into a C, and then back to open, and then I'm hitting a thumb and middle, fifth string and first string. Back to the fourth string. Okay, so so let me try to play that one more time. And again, it's really important to keep rolling when you go into your C chord. You've got that first notes open, so use that to your advantage and keep your keep your right hand moving. Even if you don't get this chord down right away, just keep your right hand going. So one more time, I'll play that whole thing. So here we go. Just a quick C. Okay, now we're back. We're back sliding back up. So we're going to do a two to five slide on the the four string, and a thumb and index with our right hand. And we're going to hit the four string and the third string. So let's just do that. And then we're doing a thumb on the fifth string and a middle on the first string. So I'll play that part. So that's so it's basically the start of the second line of the tab. So I'll play the measure uh, four and into measure five. And then we slide up. Now we're gonna do that little pull off again. So let, let, let me play just measure, uh, si I guess it's six if you count the pickup. So measure six. 
again, keep your hand out, you know, down here, out, so you when you get that pull off, whoops, you know, you're not muting any of the strings at all. You really kind of have to keep your hand, I guess I would call it out, you know, bend your wrist out this way, not not back this way. And then we're going to do that same, same slide. So it's the same one we did in measure three. So... It's that forward roll, you slide up with your second finger, and then you slide back down. Again, you can basically keep your second finger down the whole time, you just slide it up, and then move it right back down. Okay, now we're going all the way up to the second string and doing a two to three hammer on. So this is, a, we're going into a D chord here. So I'm gonna use the thumb of my right hand and we're gonna do basically kind of a modification of a, of a Scruggs lick on a four four, um, time that you'll see a lot. So we're going to do a two to three hammer on and I'm hitting a thumb and in or thumb and middle with my with my right hand going all the way up to the second string and starting that that lick with my thumb to give it a little bit of power. And then we do a forward roll start with the fifth string uh, and keep your keep your second finger down right here on the three so you go let me play that whole measure so it's, it's the uh, measure what is that nine. So you just keep rolling forward once you go up to that fifth string. So one and two and three and so play that one more time. So I'll, let me play the previous measure. So you slide up, okay so so now the third line of the tab we're going down we're gonna do that two to three hammer on again but this time we're gonna have to use our index finger of our right hand because we were just hitting that thumb on the fifth string right before that. So we, we wanna we don't wanna double thumb that there. So this time we're actually gonna have to start basically the same lick, but we're gonna have to start it with our index finger. So we're doing that two to three hammer on again. Yep, so that's good practice to try doing it with your thumb in middle and index in middle. You'll see it both ways. So this time we're doing it with our index, like I said. So here we go, index and middle. Then thumb up to the fifth string. And then middle, open, and our thumb's going to come back down to the second string and do um, just a quarter note. So let me play those two measures. It's, we got two measures of D, so we're starting with our thumb, two to three hammer on. And then index on our right hand and hammer on again. Okay, so we got a little pause there, and then we're actually going to hammer on again, two to three, with our thumb again this time. Back up to the fifth string, and then a middle. So play, and then we're gonna do that hammer on it or that pull off again. And then we're gonna slide that same slide up and slide back down to two. So it's forward roll slide again. And then back to the C again. So same C lick. And then we're gonna pinch. Back to the thumb. Okay.